If you want to hear a quick update on my weight loss journey as well as my activewear plans, then please stay tuned. everybody for tuning in today happy hump day wednesday i am coming in today with my activewear plans i actually forgot that i needed to do this video <clears throat> it's on my list and so since i got behind um because i was sick a little bit with all of the allergies and everything and let me just tell y'all that video the video you saw on sunday i recorded a few days ago i have since broken down and purchased claritin from Walgreens and it has made a world of difference I usually don't like if I can prevent from taking anything over the counter I will just you know muster through for something like that but I decided you know what let me get the Claritin and still sound a little nasally but that whole itchy and all that stuff it, it that's pretty much over which I'm happy about and thank you everybody for your uh, congrats um, I've gotten through just a couple of the comments hopefully by the time you see this video I've gotten through the rest um, of the congrats on the groundbreaking very very we are very excited about it so thank you everybody for that and also thank you um, to those who have been making purchases um, for the shop my closet so there's a few items left i just um for those who've ordered in the past maybe a couple days by the time you see this you would have received your tracking and packages have been put in the mail actually that's what i went and did today the day that i'm recording this so what i am wearing is this is the helen's closet this is actually a free pattern and i lit lengthened it into a uh, maxi dress actually um and so so you can't use this uh for um uh, so maxi for mother's day but i'll leave a link to that video up in the i cards um i can't why can't i remember the name of this i'll put it on the screen so look on the screen there that is the name of this free pattern by helen's closet and like i said i just lengthened it into a maxi dress so let's go ahead and jump into while i am situating this stuff i'll talk a little bit about my uh, update so there is a bit of an update um, you all know how I like um, how I plan to do it if you missed my first two update videos milestone videos this is not a milestone video this is just an update um, on the weight loss because I've been getting a lot of questions but let me explain so my um, milestone videos I do every 25 pounds and so I am close to my third milestone of 75 pounds down yay very excited about that however what i've noticed as i get closer and closer to the goal weight um for me it is i have to readjust what i am doing and um one of the things that i've had to readjust is um not only the eating but i've had to increase substantially my um weight training and strength training so um i think when i did my first couple videos i've always mentioned so i do the walking and slogging slow jogging and everything and i do a lot of that i've increased you'll notice if you saw those two videos i'm up now to four miles six days a week and part of that four miles is me doing a slow jog and that type thing but i also had started increasing my weight so when i first started doing a little bit of very little um with weights i was starting out at like five pounds but i'm up to 10 15 pounds and i alternate upper body and lower body however when now that i'm like i keep going back and forth between 10 15 16 17 pounds to get my to my third milestone one of the things that i'm noticing that's making a difference is um i've had to increase my strength training so for those who um might ask uh i don't i don't do per se keto i'm low carb and high protein and more so high protein low carb and um moderate fat um only because of what my personal goals are um i know people say i i appreciate the the compliments and i know people say oh you're getting so skinny i'm not trying to get skinny that's not my personal goal i don't desire to be skinny i don't that's not 
what I'm looking for. I'm looking to be strong. I'm looking to build muscle and um, continue to have body recomposition as I continue to move closer and closer to my uh, goal weight which for me that means so i'm not looking to do like strict say keto or paleo or something like that where yes in the beginning i lost a lot of weight but it's the body recomposition that i'm going for building the muscle leaning out and one of the things that i have discovered once i started increased doing more strength training is i am much more hungry and which means I have to, um, while I'm doing low carb, I'm eating the healthier carbs. So your vegetables and um, different things of that nature. Um, but I will admit, part of my stall was because I was just clowning the candy and eating junk. Um, and that was because I was just ravenous and just eating, eating, eating because I was hungry from all of the weight training that I was doing. And so I wasn't making the connection. And eventually, you know, a couple months, a uh, few months ago, I made the connection. I was like, okay, yeah, you can't feed your body with junk. You can't out work out a bad diet. You just cannot, you can't eat a bunch of junk and think, oh, I'll go run or I'll go lift weights for, you know, all day. And, you know, I burned these calories this day. So that's gonna offset the junk. No, it's not. You have to be consistent. <laughs> and so there were times when I was not consistent. And so now I am back on um, on a um, more of that, not structured, but more paying attention. I should say paying attention more to that intake of the, um, the good carbs, healthy carbs, and um, that protein and that moderate fat. So that is what I am doing. And I am noticing, I do, if you can tell, there is some definition and everything in my arms. I can see it in um, what I'm noticing, even though the pounds, those 10, 15 is like going back and forth and, you know, finally getting there to reach my next milestone. It's the inches. And remember, I always say, make sure you take pictures, make sure you take your measurements um, because you will see that um, your body changing. But now that I'm doing even more and I'll show a quick video. Actually, I went today earlier today. I did my um, uh, I went back to the gym to do uh, strength training classes uh, three days a week to increase my strength training um, and weights and everything because um, I do enjoy classes. I've been doing YouTube videos as well, but um, I like the classes because they are more structured and I'm, um, you know, making sure you lift and ride and all that other different stuff. So I enjoy the class. So I have a clip from me today. Um, and, and notice how my clothes fit. We getting ready to get into that um, right now. But I, um, yeah, so for me, I have not done aqua fit only because my swimsuits are falling off me. And that's why this here is front and center now because I can't do aqua, aqua fit classes. I've tried, you know, with the whole trying to tie it extra tight, the thing around my neck and it's hurting around my neck. And it's like, no, just make the right size swimsuit and you'll be fine. And no, I don't want to go buy a swimsuit in the interim until I make it. No, I'm I'm stubborn like that. <laughs> so anyway, I have been enjoying the strength training classes. And um, yeah, so that is just a quick update. Obviously, with the food, the different types of food, I don't do dairy. I have to watch gluten. I have uh, um, intolerance definitely with the dairy. Cannot mess around with the dairy. Um, and uh, I also have to just, you know, just watch the intake. I think I've talked about all of that in previous videos, some of the health things. Definitely make sure you check with your own doctor and what you need to do for you. This is what I'm doing for me because I have checked with my doctor. I have had my blood work done um, and have numbers and everything because it's not just about losing weight um, or anything like that. Get your numbers done. Get your blood work done. Make sure your cholesterol and all of that um, is at you know, the appropriate levels, all of that. Do that for you. So I've done that for me. So I am following the path that I know is healthy for me. So make sure you do that for you. But let's get into these patterns. So um, as you can tell by, I'm going to pop up a couple pictures too. I will admit, I am not 
a I'm not huge on oh I gotta look cute when I work out and I have to have cute workout clothes because clearly you see and most of the time when you've seen other videos where I'm talking and I just finished working out I have on an old t-shirt and some old um, workout pants either that I made or that I've had and the workout pants you see in the, these pictures I'm popping up beyond ridiculous They're just too big I had to put away another pair a old pair um uh last oh just horrible so i was like you know what it's time to get this going so i wanted to come in and share i think it's nice to have cute workout clothes but for me i'm more so into the gains i'm more so into sweating i'm more so into looking ugly while i'm working out cute clothes eh, that's like low on the totem pole am i sweating am i getting gains and my building muscle is up here down here is how cute i'm looking doing it but there is something to be said for um nice workout clothes <laughs> right it's it's a balance and for me i'm in on uh, at this point because my workout clothes are all falling apart they look uh, grungy and they look like bags on me so it's time to get it going so let me share with you a few of the patterns and i'll share with you some of the fabric that i have that i'm gonna make some of this stuff up in so the patterns that i picked up is um the first one and i'll pop them up on the screen the first one is made it patterns the rest vest this was actually i think you saw haul me haul this but um there was um a couple entries of the made it patterns a few quite a few entries for from made it patterns and so i had never purchased patterns from uh, made it patterns before before. and so when I saw the rest vest I thought this was super cute because you have that option to do some color blocking and this is the uh, relaxed fit version so it just skims across the hip and it's not anything that's fitted um, totally up my speed I also have the summer basics um, tank by love notions I want to make that it has the um, the shelf bra in there Yes, I'm still going to wear a bra because I can't get away with not wearing a bra. But it does have, I want to still see, even with the the um, the uh, the shelf bra option, how it's still, you know, what is it doing even though I still have on a sports bra. So believe you me, I was always planning to wear a sports bra uh, with it. But I do want to try that um, for working out because I do like working out in tanks. Um... I also have the green style flare leggings um, and truth be told usually I've made a pair um, a two-piece set if I can find the picture I'll pop it up here it was blue and the leggings and then I made the top the top remember I told you I didn't like with that seam under the bust I don't like seams under the bust for workout clothes but another thing I really don't particularly like are workout pants that are fitted I don't like fit because I sweat a lot when I work out and I don't feel like I feel like I'm just restrained or something <clears throat> with something fitted so I like the capri length of the green style flare leggings and that is so up my speed and the um, clothes the uh, type of leggings that I have purchased actually ready to wear in the past that I would repurchase over and over those type and so I'm happy that now I get to make me a pair and then I have um, let's see here I also have the McCall's 8244 view a in particular again I'm not really big on the the fitted legs um type uh trousers workout pants but i like that loose fitting top um that is cute and also because you can do color blocking on that so i do like that um and then i want to make some swimsuits so the swimsuits um <laughs> that i want to make that i have there's two in particular i shared um one i think last year when i was talking about my plans and i never got to any of these plans so now it's it is a must it is definitely a must um one is the pinup girls denise swimsuit so um i had shared some um different fabric that i have for that actually i'll grab the swimsuit fabric um here in a moment 
but the Denise swimsuit there I actually have a membership with Craftsy so I will do the sew along for that that's out there Beverly Johnson has it on Craftsy so I will follow that because I want to make a couple of those and then this one um actually T from Crumpus T and sewing she made this I want to say last summer it's a free pattern by um Mood and it's called um the Bay swimsuit and so um I thought this was really cute and I thought this was cute. Um, I would definitely wear this to class, you know, something, well, the swimsuit, all the swimsuits I would make, I would wear to my um, Aquafit class. But I thought that was super cute little two piece. And so I want to give that a try. So those are the first two swimsuits I want to try first. Um, and then let me grab this swimsuit fabric for you. Well, no, I'll show you the other workout um, uh, fabric first um and then i also want to make another sports bra and this is also by pinup girls it's the alley sports bra and i want to do in particular i'm thinking i want to do view a um the front view a with the zipper in the front and hopefully i'll have the picture popped up and it's only because i had i think it was a nail i think it was called a nail a nail bra for those in the United States and you watch The Biggest Loser, the women, the bra company that um, provided their bras was Anel Bras. And um, those are some really nice bras. Really nice. They're crazy expensive too. Um, but um, I like the fit of that. And mine are all just worn out and everything. Um, I don't even wear them anymore. But um this is very reminiscent of that bra um so yeah i want to do the pinup girls the nails uh alley the alley bra um because it reminds me of the i think it was the nail um that they wore on the biggest loser but anyway so let me show you just some of the fabric none of this fabric is like spectacular to look at because a lot of it is just solid colors and again i'm just I'm I'm looking for gains, y'all. That's I'm looking for gains, muscle sweating, grunting, and everything. If I'm cute while I'm working out, bonus, right? I guess. Who cares? But <laughs> but anyway, I just have some. Um, I had quite a bit of leftover um, uh, athletic uh, fabrics in my stash, so I just pulled that out, and then I purchased a few, which I shared with you. This is just a black. Um, fabric that I actually probably will muslin the alley in just to see how that fits and then I have enough because this was wide I don't know where I got this um it's wide enough and it's enough large scraps that I do want to make the love notions um summer basics that tank with the shelf bra out of this as well so that is plan for this that's the plan for and it's again it's an athletic Again, it's black. You really can't tell. Um, and then this here is some leftover um, knit, purple knit. I think this is from my cardigan, wrap cardigan I made recently. Um, yeah, that's what this is. This is leftover. I think I can do some color blocking. I don't know that there's enough to do a full top, but I would love to do that, um, the, um, the rest vest. I want like four or five of those and so I'm trying I want to use up as much of scraps I don't have enough to do a full one I don't think but I do have enough to do a majority of the top in the purple and then I can color block it with some some of this fabric now this came from Amelia a, a, Amelia Lane designs um, in that bundle that I have purchased. I showed you that uh, fabric haul. So I can color block this because actually I can use this for swimsuiting as well. And I want to say I had, yeah, I have a yard of all of this. So I'm going to be very strategic how I use like this fabric because if I can color block with some tops like with the rest vest and use like those small pieces for this and then with the swimsuit because I also have this this was that um I forgot the the name of this one but let me see if I can show you it's like a real bright neon orange and so um this will also work for um 
um, either flare leggings because um, I don't mind wearing a color this bright on the bottom at all. Do not mind. It could also, there's, it's wide enough too because it's 60, I'm going to say it was 60 inches wide. It's wide enough where I can do some color blocking. I have some more all black. This one, these are going to be the flare leggings because these were a little bit of a lighter um, knit. The, this other black I showed you was much thicker. Um, but this here is light enough. I want to do the flare leggings. These are also going to be flare leggings. This is a navy blue. This was the haul I did that was from Amazon. And so also flare leggings. Um, and then this one will also be the rest vest because I want to do some color blocking with that. And I think I will have enough fabric left over from this to do color blocking with that. See how that these the good thing about making swimsuits and activewear is that you can play around with the colors and you don't feel like you have to have like three yards of this and three yards of that. You can have a yard, yard and a half, maybe two, and then you can just play around with it. Um, I mean, if you like playing around with your colors like that. And then this is also the fabric I got from, um, and see there, um, flare leggings and then um color blocking with the rest vest um also and that um the mccall's top as well and then i also have this green um this also came in that pack from amelia lane designs and so this definitely feels swimsuit and i did look it up and wrote it down that this was definitely good for swimsuit um swimsuiting as well so um might be a little hard to envision what I'm going to be doing, but I'm really planning to kind of mix and match a lot of these colors together and just play around with it. Cause like I said, when I work out, I'm not overly concerned about being cute while I'm working out. Cause for me, that's not the point. I'm trying to get gains, build muscle, sweat, all that good stuff. But let me pause real quick and I will go grab the swimsuit fabric. Cause that is super cute. Okay. I went and grabbed this. This is all from the fabric fairy two of these um you saw me talk about this last year this is a swimsuiting fabric um probably no longer available but i'll still link to uh the fabric stores down below um but this is i think i had gotten i don't know why i got so much but i got like two and a half yards of this i think um but for the swimsuits you don't need that much fabric so what i can do is just make different things different um types of swimsuits maybe play with some color blocking but i thought this was super cute and then this one also is one that i got also swimsuiting fabric from the fabric fairy and love this um two i think i did two yards again of this this is going to be so cute to color block with a couple of those other prints that i have but i am so super ready to get going and then this was the solid color um i've always planned to do the denise swimsuit uh uh pinup girls denise swimsuit out of this i have a lot of this i don't even remember where i got this from it's been in my stash forever and um so i have so much of this so this will probably be a couple different things because i have a lot of it and again i can do some fun color blocking with it so yeah those are my plans and so um it's april now i'll probably start working on these towards the end of the month because I I cannot um I really need to start working on it the day I'm filming this because my 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 workout clothes are just pathetic um and they they do need to at least fit me and not walk around looking like a clown but <laughs> but uh at any rate so that is my quick update, uh, weight loss update, as well as my active wear plans. Um, if you, soon as I have my, um, hit that, my third milestone, I will do a milestone, my third milestone video, and then I'll give more information about, um, what I'm doing in particular. Cause I know a lot of people want to know, you know, the type of foods and stuff that I'm eating. I'll save that for that particular video, but I did want to do a you know, just a in-between update, um, on things. So yeah, that is it. Hopefully, um, now that I'm kind of back on track, Sunday's video should be my look number six, um, from my fall winter mood board. I only have two pieces left because remember the two coats I'm putting off until the, um, this winter, but, um, 
so yeah that is it if you have any questions definitely let me know leave them down in the comments section below again thank you all for your wonderful uh compliments and everything on the previous video i greatly appreciate it so yeah like i said if you have any questions leave everything down below i'll leave a link to um all of the patterns i talked about and the fabric i'll at least leave links to the the fabric companies because it's just a couple um because most of these fabrics i you saw me talk about these last year so they're no longer in stock but um yeah that is it everybody thank you so much for tuning in today i greatly appreciate it you all have a fantastic rest of your week and we will see you on sunday bye